Hello family and friends, this is Gospel in 5 Minutes with your host, Ms. Seti Jinjika. I have a word for you today. Our Bible reading is going to be extracted from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 3. I shall read verse 5 and verse 15 only. Verse 5, in Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God says, ask what I shall give you. Welcome to yet another exciting episode on Rising Stars, and today we are going to be having, I don't know how to express this, but it's an, a blessed media production, a blessed production with a man of God. If I should say, today we are hosting uh, Minister Seth, and Minister Seth is a multi-talented person. He's into ministering. He's also a presenter uh, of a program and also a musician. So those are more than three talents in one person. And today we are going to be exploring so that we get to know who Minister Seth is. I am your host, Father Two Keys, and Pastor Seth. Welcome. Welcome, thank you so much. Thank you so much. May you, you, you are Minister Seth. May you actually tell us who is Minister Seth? Okay, um, Seth Jinjika is uh, a father to one wife and uh, one girl, one beautiful girl. I'm a minister of the word, I'm a preacher of the word. Uh, I am a musician and a worshiper. Uh, my hometown is Chiredzi, but right now I'm based here in Harare because of work and uh, school commitments. Okay, okay, yes. That's very interesting. I, I liked one thing that you have already raised as, as, as a minister of the word of God, that uh, you are a husband to one wife. Uh, you know, the, the children, God's blessing, they can be saved or later, but in the meantime, it's only one. Now, just, just to, to find out from, from you, uh, Minister said, how did you get into ministering? Because we, we have seen a lot of people, some will tell you it was a calling, some will tell you I grew up in a pastoral home, some will tell you I just came across it when I was going, when, when I was home, or the people that I actually play with. But how did you get into ministering? Okay, um, I grew up in a... In a house of pastors. My father is a pastor, my mom is a pastor, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a firstborn of pastors. Ah, so I grew up in a family of uh, pastors and uh, I grew up going to church, I grew up singing the Sunday school and uh, I got to graduate to the praise and worship and uh, that has been my, my environment. And uh, I never wanted to be a pastor because I got to, when I was growing up, I got to know some of the challenges that comes with being a minister of the word, being a leader in a church. But uh, nevertheless, God called me and I had to obey the call. That, that, that is very interesting because you, you see, you, you have raised a point where you have said you grew up in a home where your mother and father uh, our pastors and uh, in most instances it's very difficult to see children who grow up uh, when when both parents or either one of the parents is, is, a, is a pastor or a minister also following the same route but quite interesting and uh, quite honorable you are you are into it we thank God for that now as, as a pastor you minister to people you you pray with people, you talk to a lot of people, but you also took a route where you have gone into, into music as a career. How did the music career come into play? Uh, because there are only a few ministers or pastors that I know that sing. How did the music uh, career come in? Okay, uh, like I said before, uh, I grew up in an environment, uh, in a church environment, if I may say. So I would participate in the Sunday school. Okay. Uh, participate in the Sunday school, and I later on graduated to be part of a praise and worship team. Oh, okay. I got to become a member in the praise and worship team of uh, our church at a very tender age. That was because all the rehearsals, you have the information of. Uh, uh, the rehearsal times and who is leading and at times you mix and mingle with these guys so because of this environment 
I, I actually got to grow up in a, in a musical environment as well and started to uh, ignite something that was in me. I was not born a, a, a musician, a singer, but I got to learn because of the passion that I had. Ah, that's super. Quite interesting that you were a member of, of the praise and worship. You know, in the street lingo, most of the times people will tell you that the guys in the um, in the praise and worship team, when that when when the plate for offering is going around, it doesn't get there. <laughs> but the good part is now you being a minister and ministering to people, uh, you can actually help us and uh, explore that. But I know people will just be joking about it now. Pastor or Minister, you you have recorded an album, uh, and um, what is the title of the album that you have recorded in, so far? Um, it's called Handinetsuke. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's uh, I managed to, by the grace of God, mm -hmm. to establish a musical team. Uh, by the name Summit Worship Family. Summit Worship Family. So okay. we came up with this album. It's not my album alone, but it's a, 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 a contribution of a team. But uh, I happened to be the, 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 the director of that team. Okay. And still, okay. uh, by the grace of God, we are managing and it has been a, a wonderful journey. So the title of the album uh, is called The Handinets. Uh, right? It's right. only that album that we have managed to record as of so far. Okay. How many songs are on this album? Uh, they are six tracks. Six tracks. Yeah. Uh, I was just checking on your profile and I've noticed that uh, Andinetsky is the title of the album. There is also a title track that is also called uh, Andinetsky. What was going through your, your mind? Maybe first to, to, to wanting to know who composed the song Andinetsky? Okay. Uh, this was my composition. Okay. Uh, together with a friend uh, by the name Milton. Mm -hmm. uh, and the next one is a song um, that was coming from the book of James. James chapter number 4 verse 7 Submit yourself therefore to God Resist the devil and he will flee from you uh, The Bible says from the book of James Resist the devil from you. So as the Bible says, uh, life and death lies in the power of your time. And as it says from the book of Job that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Mm -hmm. So this was a, a confession that uh, we were making, that I was making along that and in it, in other words, I'm not allowing myself to be tormented by evil spirits because greater is he who is in me than the one who is in the world. So I, uh, this was a declaration to resist the devil, not allowing him to come anywhere near. There you have it, folks. Today we have Minister Seth on set. Rising Stars is the program. Father Twiggy is your host, and we are talking to the man of God who is a pastor, is a minister of God, is a composer, he is a singer, and is also a presenter. Uh, of a program called Gospel in Five Minutes and uh, we are exploring to, to find out the talents embedded in this gentleman. Now, um, the song, from, from the explanations that you have actually given out, it's, it's, it's quite uh, exposing to show how you, you minister. But there's also a song that is also on your album which is called Reach Out. Um, wh what is it talking about? When, when we listen to it, what are we expecting to hear from the song Reach Out? Okay, Reach Out is a, is a public domain song, a worship song uh, that speaks about Jesus. 
uh, if you read from the New Testament, there is a woman who, with, who, who had the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had to tell herself, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I know I will be made well. So reach out is that song which is telling you to reach out to Jesus, just like what she did. She had to reach out and had to touch the hem of Jesus' garment, and she was made well completely. So reach out is that song that is encouraging us that Jesus is there and is waiting and he is carrying your miracles and already you are victorious with him. You really need just to take a step to reach out to him and you will find that he is not too busy to hear you crying, to hear your hearts cry. It goes on to say he is passing by each moment for your need to be supplied. So what you need to just do is to reach out, reach out and touch the Lord. Wow, that is quite interesting like I've alluded to earlier on in our introduction to say we have Minister Seth in the house and this is a blessed interview where we are talking about God's blessings, talking about and exploring the talents. Now, uh, Minister. Being a minister who ministers to people, uh, you, you stand in front of people, you have to make sure you find avenues to talk to people and, and make sure that the gospel, in terms of the word of the Lord, is shared with people. Now, taking, you, taking us to, to, to one of the other talents that we have described and talked about in, in this program, you are an anchor or a host to the program Gospel in Five Minutes. Um, can you actually just take us through so that we get to understand what this program is all about? What is Gospel in Five Minutes? Uh, Gospel in Five Minutes is a, is a program uh, that has been established to allow the Gospel to be preached mm. or to preach the Gospel to the utmost parts of the world. Uh, Gospel in Five Minutes is a is a, is a program that is uh, that 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 is broadcasted on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, on uh, Instagram, uh, and these platforms are platforms that bring people together from different parts of the world, not just Zimbabwe alone. So Gospel in Five Minutes is a is is a program that 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 I had to start for the purposes of spreading the word of God. So, but what, what was the inspiration behind going into the program Gospel in Five Minutes? What, what really inspired uh, you getting onto all these platforms to start ministering uh, to people on these uh, social media platforms? Okay, uh, growing up I was following uh, one of the programs by the name The Preachers. Okay. Uh, this, this program was a program that was uh, ministering to people, but only in 60 seconds. So I then realized that if only I can start a program that might be stretched to five minutes, uh, it can actually have an impact to people's life, and I'll be able to actually spread the word as Jesus has mandated us to do. So as, a, as someone who is too youthful, I felt like uh, it would be good to preach and uh, impact even to other youths and of my age and some people that are even under my age so that they know that there is Christ, so that they, they, they get to see the illuminating light of Christ. So Gospel in Five Minutes uh, is a program that speaks uh, about Jesus, that Jesus saves, that Jesus died for us that he loves us and that we are victorious because of, of Jesus. Oh, that's, that, that's great. Um, we have passed Minister Seth in the house today talking about the embedded talents that the man has. Minister Seth is uh, a minister of the Word of God. He's a music composer. He's also uh, a musician who has recorded an album uh, that is called Handine Square. And, uh, just going on forward, um, um, Minister, you, you are ministering, you are into music composition and recording, you have recorded an album, and you are also going to school. And all these things uh, would need uh, concentration. What are the challenges that we have faced um, 
in your career as a minister, a musician, a music composer, a presenter for gospel uh, in five minutes, the challenges you have actually faced up to the stage where you are today? Okay, uh, thank you so much. Um, I'll start by uh, bringing you back from where it all started. Uh, my music career started uh, in my hometown, Chirezi. So one of the most uh, challenges has been uh, trying to fund uh, the musical projects uh, to be able to reach out to as many people as you can. Uh, but uh, uh, I am a, I'm not just a minister, but a professionally I'm a manager. And uh, this now has uh, helped in, 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 in the sense of uh, you get your resources from a professional side and uh, you get to fund the ministerial work of the Lord. So it has been a challenge again trying to mix the two, trying to balance off the two, but you cannot choose either of the two because you need the resources from the other side to fund the ministerial work of God. That's quite 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 interesting. Um, so, the 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 biggest challenge, if I could say, is the issue of funding that needs to to come in and support uh, the musical career. There you have it, folks. Uh, you have uh, Minister said, Toto Tichikumana Chepachirets, and he's into music. is is an artist. He's a minister of the Word of God. He's also a presenter and anchor. Uh, for a program called Gospel in, in Five Minutes. He was just taking us through uh, the challenges that he has faced. Uh, but besides these challenges, uh, uh, who have been your role models? You talked about a program that you actually grew up watching. You also conversed with a lot of uh, uh, programs and a lot of life experiences. Then who became your role models, both in your ministry and also um, your, your, your musical career? Uh, oh. Well, actually, I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's good to have so many uh, role models. I, yes. I, I got to learn from uh, a lot of people that are the best in every area. Uh, I grew up under a lot of pastors as well, and uh, I had to follow a lot even through the social media. And I got to like a lot and learn a lot from them everyone. Uh, but musically I respect uh, Pastor Benjamin Duet uh, who is a worship, uh, worship leader in South Africa. He is an amazing man. Uh, he has managed to establish the spirit of praise and uh, whenever I get to follow that I am so inspired, especially musically. He, he, he is such a powerful man of God. Oh, that's super. Uh, to have such a great and uh, important uh, role model in life and uh, we, we hope to see you. So having looked at, uh, at, at the role model and what you have described, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Oh, wonderful. Um, I am that someone who is looking forward to be uh, going around mm. preaching the word. Uh, my mandate is just to reach out to as many people and bring as many souls to the Lord as we can through music and even through preaching the word of God. So I believe that God has got a lot of things that are good that is in store for us. As he said from the book of Jeremiah, for I know the plans that I have for you. Plans never to harm, but to make you prosper. So I believe that in the next five minutes we will be in the next five, five years. <laughs> We will be prosperous and God will have taken us to another level in terms of music ministry and in terms of uh, the ministerial work of the Word of God. Uh, that's super. I was talking about the next five years and uh, Minister Seth is already looking at gospel in five minutes. <laughs> Which is good. Um, you see, uh, folks, this is, uh, we, we have uh, Minister Seth in the studio today we are talking about uh, minister said there's a minister of the word of god a musician and a composer at the same time and also an anchor for the program called gospel in five minutes we have been discussing all this but uh, you see a lot of the folks out there including the folks from Jirez, 
they are just hearing minister said is a is a musician they might have actually con conversed with you on some of the programs that you actually host or even attended the services that you 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 you, you have been hosting but definitely they would want to hear you sing <laughs> they would want to hear you sing because they, they really want to, to hear that musician part that which makes it happen when you sing uh which which, which one of the songs uh, can can you just give us a feel of, of one of the songs that, that you have recorded? Um, I'll just give you a feel of Andinetwe. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in the process of uh, doing a second edition of it as well. Oh, okay. Andinetwe ne mwea echina Andinetwe ne mamepo Andinetwe ndiri waje Yes, thank you so much. Ah, goes by you will find is not too busy to hear your heart's cry is passing by this moment for you need to be supply reach out and touch the Lord as he goes by Amen <laughs> I was just about to start waving my hands oh. you know how it is when it's praise and worship time and yeah. uh, praise and worship team leads the pra so ladies and gentlemen this is your program rising stars we have been hosting minister said minister said is a minister of the word of god he's a musician he's a composer and also an anchor and host of the program called gospel in five minutes and today it has been a very blessed session it has been a very blessed episode as we have been going through the word of god itself the music that suits the art exploring the talents that uh, minister said has it's always interesting to be here but when the time comes we have to go what are the parting words that you want to give to you you know we have a lot of young pastors who are coming through young artists who are coming through what 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 words would you want to to leave uh for for, for the young pastors and ministers and and musicians i would say uh we are victorious. We are victorious. The Bible says from the book of 1 John, whatsoever born of God overcometh the world. Whatsoever born of God is victorious. In the book of Romans it says we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. So whatever that you have at heart, go for it. Go for it. Don't procrastinate. Super. Go for it. Super. Time is not on our side. There you have heard it, folks. We have to go for it, and time is not on our side. I'm only left to conclude this session. Like our Facebook page, like our YouTube page, Blessed Media, and the program is Rising Stars. And Minister, before we leave, you can actually just tell our viewers where they can actually find you. Social media, contact numbers that they can also get in touch with you, so that they can also be able to confess and talk to you. Okay, you can find me on uh, YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook as Seth Jinjika Jason. Super. Seth Jinjika Jason. It's Seth on Jinjika platform. Jason. Thank you so much, uh, Minister, for coming to the studio. Uh, we hope to hear more and see more of the words that you'll be doing. We are waiting for the rendition of Andine and Square and the second album. Thank you so much. Right, folks, we are out of here. Not tomorrow but today because god is all powerful you are highly favored and blessed don't be like pharaoh don't wait for tomorrow for something that can be done today you are blessed above all thank you Handy nets, when the way I 
Chena, and in it, when the Mamebo, and in it, when the Riwaje. So, my name is Sethi Jinjika, gospel in five minutes. Keep watching Rising Stars, Blessed Media. Like our Facebook page and as well the YouTube account. You are blessed above all. James chapter number 4 verse 7 Submit yourself therefore to God Resist the devil and he will flee from you Dinolamba <laughs>